Hi guys! So as requested I have the makeup look that I wore in a video. <laughs> I can't remember which video it was. Um, however, I'm not too sure if this is the exact eye look because I can't actually remember what I did that day. <laughs> um, but it, this again is just a purple smoky eye. Um, I've done it less dramatic just because I am going out for the day and I didn't want to go out looking you know like I was going out on a night out um but if you wanted this to be more dramatic I think on that day I did actually have add a bit of black in the crease too and I had on super dramatic eyelashes but I've um made it look a little bit more natural as can be and day worthy um but yeah, I finally got around to doing it. Also, I currently have, don't judge, tan developing and I realised that it looks awful on my thumb and then like, and I use this hand a lot in the video so yes, just ignore that. But if you'd like to see how I did this look, um, then just keep on watching. Okay, so when I originally did this eye makeup look, it was... Um, basically through trial and error and lots of mistakes so I'm going to do it a little bit differently today but pretty much using the same colours that I used originally so I'm going to start off with just a nude shade really and this is by Makeup Geek and this is called Beaches and Cream so I'm just going to take my Sigma E25 and just dust that all the way up to my brow bone this is just like my it's basically my skin colour <laughs> eyeshadow because when I put my concealers and stuff all over um, they sometimes look a little bit stripy so this just sets it nice then I'm going to use another Makeup Geek shadow called Unexpected which is just like a really um, pale dusty lilac now if you don't have any Makeup Geek shadows there's a similar one in the Naked 2 called Tease. So you're looking for a colour similar to that. So using my Sigma E40, I'm going to pick that up. And this is just going to be like my, like not my dimension colour, what am I looking for, what word? transition colour from all of the purples to my skin colour. So as you can see, wind side emotions in the crease. So just make sure that's really blended out and a double check above the crease. There's nothing on this but this did have um, the beaches and cream on it. Okay, so now for my eyelids. When I originally did this, I did use um, this, I can't want to lift it up because they fall out, but this bright shade here, yeah, you can see from Makeup Geek. I can't remember the name of it and I'd have to pick it out. Um, but it doesn't go on my eyelids, the colour that is in there. So I'm going to actually use this Avon Super Shock Creamy Pencil thing. And I'm going to use the Royal Velvet side, which is literally just a dark purple. And that is just going to go all over my eyelids. Just to add a bit of depth, because the colour that I'm going to put on my lids is really bright. So it's just nice to have a bit of a darker base underneath. So that it's not super bright. And that's basically what that Makeup Geek shadow did. It just made my eyelids a little bit darker. So that when I put the brighter shade on top, it wasn't in your face like, oh my god, that is bright. Just got makeup all over my pillow. Right, so I'm literally just going to leave that on messily as it is. Then, I'm going to come to my BH Cosmetics Special Occasion Palette, which I really like. And this shade here is the colour that I'm going to put on my lids. Now I'm just going to swatch this way so you can see how bright it actually is. It is like a very um, plum maroon purple. 
if there was such a colour. But yeah. I'm just going to take just this flat top brush and pick up the work. Like, I literally just press that in. And then I'm just going to press that onto my eyelid. If you understood that, that was pressed out onto my eyelid. <sighs> These are very dusty. And same again. And I press so that you get as much pigment as possible. So as you can see, that is still quite bright, even though it's on top of um, a dark purple base. Then I'm just going to come in with a random brush that has absolutely nothing on it and then blend the rest of that from like my lid kind of up. So this is kind of where it meets. I'm just going to blend it out, though it's not as hard. Okay, then for my um, crease I'm going to take the shimmery version of Unexpected which is again oh, by Makeup Geek and it is called Twilight. I'm not too sure what colour will be similar to this but um, yeah it's just the shimmery version. And I'm just taking this round big brush and that is again just going to go right in the crease. And this brush fits perfectly right in there which is what I like. And again you're just making sure that you super blend. Then back to the BH palette, I am going to take the dark shimmery purple, I'm just going to put it on the same brush and I'm going to dab it in there twice and then I'm just going to focus this like on the outer part and then blend it through. This one is just going to darken up the crease ever so slightly. So as you can see it starts off like being a really rich purple and then it fades out which is really pretty and I can remember when I did this makeup uh, I think I went out with my mum and she was like yeah I make up really nice today so I must have done a good job because even my mum liked it. Okay so what I'm going to do now is put my eyeliner on. And then I'm going to do the finishing touches to the eye. So I always do a winged eyeliner. Um, you could do no a normal non. But wing is my favourite. So that is my eyeliner, I think I've done them quite long, oh well, nice and dramatic. Okay, so 
I'm going to highlight my brow bone and inner tear duct with Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek, which is just one of my all time favourite um, shimmery eyeshadows. And I'm just using this, I think it's Estee Lauder brush. So I'm just going to arch my eyebrows. I don't know why I do that, but yeah. I like the shimmer to be like more focused in the arch of my brow and then I just blend it out. And then in my inner tear duct. And then using this same brush a bit more on this side. I really like the inside to pop. Um, I'm going to take the colour that I used on my lid, which is this one, and then the dark purple is going to go right on the outer part. I'm actually going to take a smaller one, actually. I don't want it to be too um, OTG. So, yeah. I'm going to press this up against my eyelash line. Now, because this is quite a bright colour, you don't want it to look like you've got a bit of a black eye, so that's why I am pushing it right up against my eyelashes. I just realised I've got really bad tan on my thumb. That looks awful. Oops. And then I'm just slightly joining that to my wing. And then I'm just going to press it into the dark purple and add that to it. Mainly on the outer half. My outfit is so neutral for today. And then I've got really bright eye makeup. Why not? <clears throat> I thought it's not funny then. Then I'm going to take this really nice pencil brush and that dark purple from the BH Cosmetics palette again and I'm just going to darken up my crease with that almost. Um, it's kind of attempting to do a slightly cut crease but it's literally just adding it right near her eyeliner here and feathering it across. Hopefully you can see how pigmented all of these colours are. And I'm just going to come in with my Sigma brush again and just removing like anything that's on it. And just blend all of this rather harshly, I guess. <laughs> Now for eyeliner, I'm going to take my Avon Super Shock, of course, um, this is the blackest of blacks, and do my waterline. And bring that into my inner tear dot and blink. And that automatically just makes it look a little bit more smoky than what it did before. I'm just going to take the brush that I use for powder. And then just make sure it's all blended nice. And now for eyelashes. Now in that video, I had on some socialized ones I had like two mixed together but I'm going to try out these XO Beauty the romantic lashes today um just because the two that I mixed together by socialize they were um, really really dramatic 
and I am going out after this and I don't want to look you know super OTT but of course this does look really nice with nice dramatic lashes but I thought I would go for something a little more natural so I'm just going to measure these I think I've tried to wear these before and they're really long so so that's the eyelashes on they are very very natural so um you could definitely you know darken this up and put on another pair or wear more dramatic ones like I did when I originally did this makeup look so I'm just gonna quickly contour this video is probably super long I do apologize this is what happens when I do talking videos and then I'm really into contouring my nose lately and um, for some reason I've developed quite a complex about it I don't know why What would we do without makeup guys, honestly? Uh, I'm gonna try out a blush today. I'm still trying to like work my way in with blush blushes. So I'm just gonna take this one. I feel like the minute I put them on, I look like I've got on way too much makeup. So I am very much using really light ones and working my way in and then soft and gentle because why would I use anything but you know I might have to try shimmer shimmer on my face one day because I love that so much for my eyes maybe I will like it to highlight the rest of my face so finally lips I'm going to take the soft brown lip pencil by NYX and slightly overline my lips And then I'll just like bring it down like maybe two millimeters. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna use um, Corquette by Lime Crime. And then for gloss, I'm going to use Nude by. Um, Lightning, lightning. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I will come up close. So it is just a really purple, smoky eye and a really nice nude lip um with a bronzed contoured face so i hope you guys like it give it a thumbs up if you do if you've got any other um colored smoky eyes that you'd like me to do comment below or you know find a picture on google and paste the link in the comment bar and i will get around to doing it for you and um, i will have another video in another two days and then my scheduled video on Sunday and yeah I'll see you all then bye <laughs>